Welcome to this daily sidereal forecast for Monday, May 25th. My name is Athen. So this week, lots of squares, and today is certainly the beginning of that. As you can see, all squares today involving both the fast movers Mars and Venus, as well as the moon today. So it can be a challenging day, but of course this all depends on how we work with the energies and also what's going on in our own personal charts. Uh, but what I am going to do is highlight this so we can see uh, exactly how to work with this energy to the utmost and uh, keep it constructive because that's certainly what it is about today is a constructive energy because that's what the square represents. And it's a square that's actually a fixed square. We almost have a grand cross in the sky involving Neptune in Aquarius, Mars in Taurus, the moon in Leo, and Saturn in Scorpio still. Now, the only thing preventing it from being so is that Saturn and Neptune aren't in within the orb of that square position, but still activating all four of the fixed signs. So first of all, about the fixed energy is that it is it's fixed. And so what we want to do here is follow that middle path, which is, of course, not being overly rigid, not being overly fixed and being open. We want to bring in the energies of the other uh, types, which is the mutable energy and the cardinal energy. And so with mutable, it's very important today that we go with the flow. We're open. We're open to learning. We're open to adapting, to changing. And with the cardinal energy, we take action. Okay, and that's exactly what the square is all about. It's all about that cardinal energy. And so taking action here in a way that is non-action. You know, that's Neptune, especially with Mars. And Mercury is very, very close to Mars still. So Mercury is forming that square. We're going to be feeling that more and more as the week unfolds. So the key here is that presence. You know, it's very important, especially with Mercury retrograde. We want to figure things out. Mercury can't see things very clearly right now. This is our mind. It's also our communication. So trusting, connecting to God, to all that is, however you see that. And, and that in that, there's that tranquility through that trust. There's that peace, that inner peace. So today in this whole week is a really good time for these meditations, this presence, this being in the now moment, everything on that level, because um, that's how we can constructively utilize it. See, what we want to do is we want to bring in the Neptune energies into what we're involved with. Mercury is the day-to-day -day environment. You know, and Mars is our drives, our intentions, what we want. And it's very much our egos, you know. And so um, if we're pushing too hard, if we're too assertive, if we're too forward-moving and we're not taking the time to connect and to reflect and to be receptive to what's going on around us, then it can feel very confusing and it can feel like what we're doing is just not going anywhere. But it can go to where it's supposed to go when we loosen up and let go and flow with it. So that's the strong energy for today, um, especially with that Neptune and with the fixed, fixed energy in particular, not being overly rigid, uh, not seeing things you know to where they're like, you know, we're resistant to them. We want to be open today. That's very important. And also Taurus, this is all about this whole lunar cycle. So we're learning about being steadfast. We're learning about being steady, reliable, patient, slow and steady. That's what all this is about. And one area that this will be tested on is going to be the area of the moon because this is our feelings. It's also our daily concerns. So with the moon in Leo, this is the concern for us, it's concerned for who we are in the sense of how we express ourselves. So it's very important here we're patient and persistent and slow with that. And also not going to any extremes with that as well because the moon and Leo can sometimes feel like childish. It can sometimes feel like we want all the attention or we're not getting enough attention or uh, we feel shy and timid. So it's very important we find that middle path with Leo, which is expressing ourselves but in that mature way. And that maturity is both coming from this Taurus energy, which we're in this first quarter phase of the lunar cycle. So this is the first challenge, is how to ex express ourselves, how to be ourselves in this slow and steady way, but also because the moon is going to be squaring up to Saturn. So this is the big picture, you know, and this is remembering that there's a larger picture. There's things that we're building in the long term. It's very important that we're patient on that regard as well. Now, there's a couple areas that are going to be uh, important today in the day-to-day -day environment of things, and this is with Venus. 
Venus is in uh, Gemini, where she is in a friendly sign, but she is being squared up to Uranus today and tomorrow. So here's where we can feel sometimes a little bit like making some sudden changes, some sudden impulses with our connections. That can sometimes be relationships, can sometimes be our values. So the key here is to be ourselves. Uranus is all about giving and contributing. And that's the true satisfaction that we derive from, you know, from the world. I mean, the true happiness. And if you speak to people who truly have that contentment in their lives, it's because they're giving. They're contributing to something larger than self. So I think that's a message from Uranus is to remember that we have to give. We have to, you know, be willing to cooperate and work with. And in this sense, bring conscious awareness to our values in life, to our relationships. And in that way, again, this square energy can be very constructive. So just like with Neptune, where it can be a very good day for all these spiritual sort of pursuits, it can also be a good day for giving to causes and things larger than self. Not just causes, but it's more one-on-one, -on -one, you know, to ideals larger than self. So that's going to be the uh, highlight is these two transits, the moon squaring up to Saturn. This can sometimes feel like our self-expression in Leo, again, is sort of inhibited, but it doesn't have to be that way as best as you can. Just have that maturity, that playfulness, which is Leo, but in that mature way, that's going to be important today as well. And then, of course, we're in this first quarter phase. So I think naturally we'll be uh, concerned about both the material value side of things and our self-expression as well. But again, the first quarter is always about taking action. Okay, and here it's action in terms of being ourselves, but in that torn fashion, which is exactly what we're learning today. But I feel like the highlight is definitely Neptune, especially with Mercury. So as best as you can, connect and uh, have that presence and do those meditative things because we all meditate and connect to the presence in different ways. But I think those things will be helpful. And it may take some effort because that's the square. It takes effort to do these things. But it's very important and can, can be very constructive. So if you guys have any questions, please let me know. I hope you guys do have a nice day. And I will see you all tomorrow. Take care.